I'm John Arking. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota. Here to wow you. The city of Palm Coast has moved forward with hiring a chief innovation officer. Councilman Nick Klufus has been pushing for the hiring of one or two people to better market the city's underused fiber net capacity and also to implement smart city initiatives, but had been met with resistance from some of his fellow council members. However, city manager Matt Morton identified the hiring of a chief innovation officer as among his goals. Klufus, a senior development engineer for a tech firm called ACI, wanted the city to move forward boldly and not be left behind technologically. Palm Coast is one of 178 communities across the country that has a broadband uh, municipal utility, meaning we own our own internet service provider. And right now, Palm Coast is underserved from the two service providers that are in the city of Palm Coast. So we are ripe for the situation, and we have really taken advantage of our position. We have $10 million worth of fiber optic cable on the ground, and it's an investment that we don't have anyone managing right now. Morton, siding with Klufus, said that hiring someone in the role of chief innovation officer is an excellent first step and absolutely critical for success. Those comments convinced fellow council members to give verbal approval for the hire. The senior staff position would likely pay between $92,000 and $142,000 a year and requires no further city council action or input. This portion of Flagler's Morning News brought to you by the Daytona Beach International Airport. Sun Wing Airlines nonstop to Toronto and starting in May, nonstop flights to New York City via American Airlines. The Flagler County School Board unanimously approved a dual enrollment agreement this week to assist students in becoming teachers. The agreement with the University of North Florida in Jacksonville will allow students enrolled in the Future Educators of Flagler flagship program to take four associated online courses free of charge. The UNF agreement will also allow qualifying Flagler County teachers to perform the instruction at both high schools for college-level algebra and English courses. That would help students who lack transportation while saving the district money as they would have to pay the teacher's salary, but not the additional costs associated with dual enrollment classes. Those teachers taking part would need a master's degree in the subject they plan to teach and will have to meet other faculty credential requirements. It's expected the agreement will go into effect with the 2019-2020 school year. What will Palm Coast Connect do for you? City Manager Matthew Morton said it would give you a chance to have a direct link to the city if there's a problem. But what will Palm Coast Connect do for the city? It's to drive metrics, performance measures behind that so we can check and make sure we're doing it right. To make sure that if we have things we need to change or resources we need to put somewhere that we're daily, minute by minute if need be, aware of those challenges and how to deploy resources. Morton said that he's already received calls about how a situation can be resolved and that he looks forward to seeing Palm Coast Connect go live next month. To hear the entire interview, go to WNZF.com and click on the Free For All Friday podcast. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. Sheriff Rick Staley held a public meeting on addressing crime together at the Hilton Garden Inn in Palm Coast Thursday afternoon. With a room full of community members, Sheriff Staley discussed crime trends in Flagler County, the initiatives his office has made to improve public service, and revealed new initiatives for 2019. He told the group that the overall crime rate is down 22% from 2017, the lowest it's been in 14 years. Violent crime like murder, rape, and robbery and aggravated assault is down 16.3%, while property crime like burglary, larceny, and motor vehicle theft is down 24.7 percent. He added that the See Something, Say Something initiative is imperative to keeping the crime rate down and that many crimes can be prevented by taking basic security measures like locking your doors, removing valuables from plain view, installing motion sensor lighting outside your home, and adding a video security system. Staley also spoke about county inmates receiving assistance while they're in jail through an initiative called STRIDE, or Skills Transitional Support Respect Integrity Direction and Employment. Begun in 2017, the program offers services to assist inmates at getting birth certificates and social security cards, provides alcohol and narcotics anonymous programs, and allows inmates to work towards achieving their GED. And Flagler County has a Law Enforcement Officer of the Year for 2019. With more, here's Tony Magoo. Detective Fiona Ebro of the Flagler County Sheriff's Office has been cited as Law Enforcement Officer of the Year for 2019. Commander Jennifer Taylor and Sheriff Rick Staley nominated Ebro for the honor. Detective Ebro was selected to be the Flagler County Sheriff's Office domestic violence detective back in January of 2018. Since her assignment as a dedicated detective to investigate domestic violence cases, she has made the needle move, according to Sheriff Staley. And because of her efforts, the cases that have been accepted for prosecution have increased 20% by the state attorney's office. I and people that violate the domestic violence restraining order or stalking cases. 
have increased dramatically over 100%. Detective Ebro consistently demonstrates integrity, dependability, and professionalism, Sheriff Staley said. So she's done an outstanding job, and we're very uh, happy for her that she was honored to be the law enforcement officer of the year. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Tony Magoo. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm John Arking.